Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I want to talk about 10 apps and sites from which you can listen to audiobooks for free. I am going to talk about 5 apps, 3 websites and 2 subscriptions which are free in the beginning but later on you will have to pay for them. I will talk about the pros as well as cons you will have while you pay for the subscriptions but other than those two, all the 8 other things that I am going to talk about in the beginning of the video are completely free. You need not even spend a single penny from your purse. Personally, I have been a huge fan of audiobooks for the past 5 years and I have read hundreds of books just because of the fact that I love listening to audiobooks. I have been listening to audiobooks for the past 5 years and it has been one of my most productive habits. So without any further ado, let's get into the video right away. Talking about the apps, I am going to talk about really basic apps that everyone needs to have on their phone in order to listen to audiobooks. The first one is the place where you are actually watching this video. There are hundreds of audiobooks on YouTube itself. You need not even struggle that much. Just search for the name of the book that you want to listen to followed by the audiobook. There are hundreds and hundreds of audiobooks that are available for free on YouTube. I know that not all audiobooks that are available on YouTube are legal. They have some copyright infringement. But as long as YouTube does not take those videos down, it is not wrong to go forward and listen to those videos. Another tip which I'll give for you guys if you are going to listen to audiobooks on YouTube is that just go forward and try to download the entire video of the audiobook to offline so that you can listen to it offline without any ads. Since audiobooks are usually more than 8 hours long, there will be multiple ads if you listen to them online. But if you download them offline and read them with the data connection or Wi-Fi off, you don't even have to worry about the ads. You can just seamlessly listen to the audiobook continuously. The only drawback that you'll face here is that if you don't have a YouTube premium subscription, you cannot play the audio on background. It must be on the foreground and that's the only app you'll be using at a single time. Apart from that, there is no other drawback when it comes to listening to audiobooks through YouTube. It's the most easy way to find audiobooks and also completely free. The second app that I want to talk about is Spotify. I know that so many of us use Spotify in order to stream songs alone but trust me apart from songs and podcasts there are so many audiobooks available on Spotify okay all these audiobooks are usually available in podcast channels so you can just go forward and search again just with the title of the book that you want followed by audiobook and if it is available on Spotify you can definitely go forward and listen to them for free the only drawback when it comes to Spotify is that you will be having ads no matter what you do if you are having a free account you are going to have to listen to the ads in between the audiobook and that might be kind of a bummer for some people. Apart from that, there is no drawback when it comes to listening to audiobooks through Spotify. Another added advantage when it comes to Spotify is that you can increase the playback speed to more than two times while you are listening to the audiobooks since audiobooks are usually narrated at a very slower pace. In the beginning, audiobooks were actually made for people to listen during commute time. So in order to not divert the drivers from driving, the narration of audiobooks are usually very slow. That's why most audiobook lengths are also so long compared to the time it takes to read the actual book physically. You can go forward and increase this playback speed and that will help you increase your reading speed at the same time increase your rate of comprehension. The next app is Amazon Music. If you are having Amazon Prime and if you are not using Amazon Music, trust me you are missing out on a lot and you are also wasting a lot of money by not using that service. Even in Amazon Music there are a number of audiobooks that are easily found. Okay, Just like in YouTube and Spotify, just go forward, type the name of the book followed by audiobook and search for it. There are so many audiobooks available on Amazon Music. Not as much as in YouTube and Spotify but in Amazon Music there are many audiobooks available and if you are having a Prime subscription and not using it to listen to these audiobooks which are completely available for free you are definitely wasting that money. At the same time another thing about Amazon Music is that it does not have ads. Since it comes along with Prime there is no ads when it comes to Amazon Music. You can listen to the audiobooks uninterruptedly and I think in Amazon Music you can increase the playback speed up to 3.5 times. I know that people usually listen to audiobooks in a playback speed between 1.5 and 2.5. There are even people who listen to them in three times speed so for people like them who want a very high playback speed you can definitely go forward and try Amazon Music if you have Amazon Prime trust me it's a huge benefit the next one is a very basic app and it is Google Podcast okay it's not even two or three MB when it comes to the space that it takes on your phone and it has so so many audiobooks okay I have listened to the entirety of the Harry Potter series for free on Google Podcast itself even in Google Podcasts, you can increase the playback speed up to three times. You can download and listen to the books offline and there are no ads when it comes to Google Podcasts. You need not listen to any ads even though it is free. There is this another feature when it comes to Google Podcasts which I liked in the beginning but nowadays I don't do it. It is that it will chop off the silences and the pauses that the audiobook has even when it is in 
two or three times speed when you are listening. It's not always advisable to take up these pauses or spaces and listen to the audiobook continuously because at times it will just tire you out. But if you are a person who has that high speed of reading and high speed of comprehension, you can definitely make use of that feature also when it comes to Google Podcasts. I'm recommending this app in specific because it does not take that much space on your phone. So even if you have a very basic phone, no matter what kind of Android phone it is and what version of Android you use, Google Podcasts will not take that much space on your phone and it will help you listen to a lot of audiobooks for free without ads and you can even download them for offline and listen to them seamlessly. The next app is something which is Indian in its origin and it is also highly suitable if you are looking forward to listen to audiobooks in Indian languages and it is Pratilipi FM. Okay, I used Pratilipi FM for 3 to 4 months last year and my experience of using the app was amazing. I listened to the entire of the Pony and Selvan series while following physically on my books through the Pratilipi FM app only. The one drawback that Pratilipi FM has is that it does not have a playback speed of more than 2 times. For some books the narration is very slow so you will want to increase the playback speed even more it is not possible inside the app but this one also does not have any apps at all you need not register in order to listen to the audiobooks at all you can just install the app and you can just start streaming you need not give your details you need not register for any purpose at all it also has a premium version but there is not that much difference between the premium version and the free version if you ask me so you can just download the app for free and use it as such my most favorite thing about all these five apps that i've talked so far about except spotify is that they allow you to download the books offline and listen to them without the internet connection itself. Because it's not always possible for you to have a strong signal while you're commuting to school, college or office. So when you download the books, it always makes it even more comfortable to listen to them anytime you want. So if you've not tried these five apps yet, especially for audiobooks, you are missing out on a lot because they're completely free. Now talking about the three websites that I talked about in the beginning of the video. The first website is vk.com. I'm sure many people are familiar with vk. If you are not familiar with VK, it's just like a Russian version of Facebook. You can sign up with VK with a phone number and a password and you can do anything that is available in VK for free. It also has a premium version but it is not necessary in order to listen to audiobooks. There are so many groups and channels inside VK which just provide audiobooks for free to listen. One drawback when it comes to VK while listening to audiobooks is that they don't have the facility to change the playback speed. You have to listen only on the normal speed. So if you are a person who is comfortable with listening to audiobooks in their normal speed, you can go forward and try the VK website or the app. But just remember that you have to register with your phone number or email ID and only then you can use it. That's the only drawback if you ask me. Even playback speed is not that much of a drawback because the quality of audiobooks inside VK is always really really good. The quality of the audiobooks is as good as it is in Audible. So if you are okay with registering and if you are okay with not being able to change the playback speed, VK is definitely a great free choice in order to listen audiobooks. The next website that I want to talk about is tokibook.com. I have listened to a ton of audiobooks from tokibook.com. Trust me, if you want to read entire series without any problem at all, go for and listen to them from tokibook.com. The playback speed can be increased to only 1.5 times speed, but the experience of listening to the audiobooks from this one is just crazy. One or two years back, we even had an app for tokibook.com on the Play Store, but as of now, it is not available to install and use in India. So I also don't have the app. I'm also listening to, from the website only when I want to listen to any audiobooks that is available only on that website. It has some ads also, but it is not a huge hindrance if you ask me, because for one hour, you will get a maximum of two ads and both of those ads can be scripted also. As a whole, this is a great website to go forward and listen to audiobooks from for free. You can use it on your mobile phone, tablet, as well as PC. It does not matter what device you use it on. The quality remains the same. The website also does not get hanged and there is this facility to bookmark the audiobook from where you left. And when you get back into the tab and start listening to the audiobook, you can resume from the place where you left. With all these facilities, it is completely free. So go forward and try it for sure. The next website is galaxyaudiobook.com. This one is also very similar to tokibook.com when it comes to its interface and the library that it has. But the added advantage to a Galaxy Audiobook is that you can increase the playback speed of the audiobook to up to 2 times. It's not just limiting to 1.5 times. It has so many complete series that you can go forward and listen to just for free. It has ads but just like in Toki Books, it's not a huge hindrance. You get very short ads, you can also skip them without any problem at all. And this website also has the bookmark facility. The special thing about Toki Book as well as Galaxy Audiobook is that you need not register using any way at all. You can just go forward and stream the audiobooks for free. It is not like 
like they have all the latest books that are out so far in the website they have quite a bit backdated books like from the past one or two years but even that is very difficult to find on some paid subscriptions itself so if you're interested in reading a bit backdated books which are like one or two years old you need to go forward and try both tokibook.com as well as galaxybook.com because these are just out there for anyone to use and people who are not interested in spending that much money in order to listen to audiobooks need to make use of them now at last talking about the two subscriptions which i told about in the beginning of the video the first subscription is my most favorite and which i've been using for the past four years even now i have the subscription running and it is storytel storytel has audiobooks from different languages it has english audiobooks at the same time audiobooks from various different indian languages but recently they are providing only four or five indian languages if i'm correct and that's kind of a bummer but except that there is nothing that can be stated as an issue by me when it comes to storytel because i've been using their service for the past five years and i've not been disappointed at all at any point I have enjoyed the performance audio of the audiobooks in this one. I like the recommendations that they give to me depending upon the books that I listen to. And in the past two years, they have also made so many improvements for the app, especially when it comes to the playback speed. Now, I think you can increase this playback speed in Storytel for up to 3.5 times, which is like super quick. I know people who listen to audiobooks at 3 and 3.5 times speed. So this is just like a boon for them. I personally listen to audiobooks just between 1.5 and 2.5, which is more than enough for me at this point. The special thing about Storytel is that if I'm not wrong, you can get a free subscription for the first one month and after that you just need to pay 299 rupees for one month which is like a great deal if you ask me just with the 299 rupees itself you can easily listen to at least 10 audiobooks which will cost you at least 10 times the rate if you buy them as physical books in that sense if you ask me storytell is a great subscription and that's why i've been having it running for the past four years there are even sometimes during the year which storytell leaves out many offers there was one such offer last year with which i was able to get my one year subscription for half the price the one problem with storytell is that it is just a streaming service you cannot buy the audiobooks and own them for yourself you can just listen to them when you're having the subscription i'd highly recommend anyone who wants to try to go forward and give it a go and at last i want to talk about the audiobook giant which is audible but personally audible is not my favorite because i don't want to go forward and buy an audiobook and keep it for my own because i know that Probably I'm going to listen to the audiobook just for once. The thing about Audible is that you're just going to pay 199 rupees per month, but for that 199 rupees, you can just buy and keep this one single book alone and you cannot access any book that you want. At the same time, Audible is also not that much beneficial for the authors because of various things that they have been doing in the past two years. Because of that reason, I have not used Audible for the past four to five months and that has not affected my audiobook listening experience in any way. So yes guys, those are all the 10 apps and websites from which you can listen to audiobooks for free. I hope that this video was useful for you. If you did find it useful and enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends. And if you want to get more content from me, do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.